So we're here at gotomath.com. Click on the calculus. Let's go down to uh, finding the area between curves. Click right there. And we just did 1.1, so let's look at 1.2. 1.2. All right. Okay, so we got to find the area of the shaded region in the interval between 5 and 13. And when we count our increments here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're here at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so between 5 and 13 and underneath this curve, above this curve, underneath this curve here, and uh, curves, uh, the definition, right? So it doesn't have to be an actual curve. But... Uh, Anyway, getting caught up on definitions there. Between the two graphs here, right? So if you saw 1.1, which you need to watch that video, if you hadn't watched it already, do you want to look at 1.1 before you look at this one. But, uh, all right, let's just write this stuff down. Let's write it down and go to the whiteboard. Get caught up, start talking about stuff that I need to be talking about. Well, we're writing it down on the whiteboard. All right, let's let's move move over to the whiteboard here. All right, so our two functions f of x equals one and g of x equals x plus eight, and we were on the interval which I have already forgotten five thirteen. Okay. Well, I guess I was going to skip this part, but maybe I shouldn't. All right. So we have. Uh, let me. So I'm going to just kind of do a rough sketch here. Okay. So this is our f of x, and our g of x is up here. It's at uh, x plus eight, and uh, it's doing uh, something like. Uh, Okay, this is not going to be the scale because I want to get everything on the on the graph here. And we'll just say this is 5 and this is 13. How's that? Right? Okay. All right, good enough. So what's going on here is, is um, I'll just clarify even though you should be able to look at that and know what that is. And then this one here is our f of x, obviously. So what we're actually doing here is we're taking the integral of the top one first. Okay, so this would be going from 5 to 13 of the top one, which is g of x dx. And since we're finding area, all right, I'll call this area 1 here. So actually what's going on here is we're finding the area from here to here all the way to the x-axis. So you can actually, let's, uh, this is actually a trapezoid, isn't it? You could use the uh, trapezoid uh, formula, figuring this out uh, using calculus, but anyway. So we're finding this area when we're finding area 1. And then what happens is, is when we do this curve here, area 2, the integral from 5 to 13 of f of x dx, then what happens is, is that would be this area here. All right. So in order to get the green shaded area, we find the larger area under g of x to the x-axis, and then we find the smaller, obviously it's the smaller area here, of uh, underneath f of x to the x-axis between 5 and 13. And to get this, we just subtract off. So we'll call the area we're looking for area 1 minus area 2, right? To end up getting uh, the green shaded region, okay? So let's set this up. So we're going from uh, 5 to 13. And this is going to be this area here, so g of x, which is x plus 8 d 
dx, all right, that'd be area 1, and then we're going to subtract off, uh, I just thought of something, something I did in the last video, I hope I put a minus sign there, not a plus, I'll have to go back and, and look at that, hopefully I did, sometimes I overlook things, I know we got the right answer in the very end. Um, hmm. Okay. What am I doing here? Of our okay, 1 dx. All right. So that's going to be area 1 minus area 2. Now, since our upper and uh, our lower and upper bounds are the same for both of these integrals, even though our functions are different, we can actually combine this into one single integral. Okay, into one single integral. And so that's going to be x plus 8 minus 1. All right, minus 1. And dx. Let's go ahead and simplify this down. Going from 5 to 13. 8 minus 1 is 7, so we have x plus 7 dx. Now, here's something that I find really interesting, and I'm going to try to sneak it in right here, if I can. Okay, between 5 and 13. Alright, so it's not scale, I have to say that. Um, if we were to graph this function, we got a new function now, graph this function x plus 7, it'd be something like, uh, I don't know, be something like that let's say okay and check this out this is really interesting I think is that this shaded region here has been now transformed into this shaded region and like I said now both of these aren't even to scale here but uh, this area is actually equal to this area right here. So we got something completely different. We transformed this, a transformation into this. But both of these are now, and they both have equal area, so isn't that cool? Alright, so now what we'll want to do is go ahead and take the integral of this. We have x squared over 2 plus 7x going from 5 to 13 so we go ahead and plug in 13, so 13 squared over 2 plus 7 times 13, I'm trying to s sneak all this in here. Remember, always put a parentheses here because of this minus. And then we plug in our lower limit. And uh, let me just skip some steps here. 5 squared is 25 over 2. And then uh, 35 plus 35, we'll just skip. Skip a step or two, 169 over 2. Okay, so let's, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to waste any time with that. I'm using it, getting out my Casio. All right, so 13 squared divided by 2 plus 7 times 13 minus, start a parentheses, 25 over 2. I'll let you work that out by hand if you want, 35. Um, hit enter. Well, that's a nice number. I got 128 if I plugged everything in right. Can we sneak that number in down here? 128. So remember, because this is area right here, it's like, you know, it's some unit squared of some kind, but we're not writing in units squared right here, whatever the units are. We're not, we're just leaving that part off, okay? All right, but I need to clarify that. Okay, so I got 128. Let's see what the script shows. And of course, we can use the trapezoid formula to actually figure that area out. Ooh, 128. There it is. All right. Okay. So there you go. We're here at gotomat.com. Come on by, practice that. See you later.